Hello folks, today I want to kick off our awesome channel with a tutorial on how to install macOS Sierra Beta on Parallels Desktop 10 or 11. So if you're like me and you want to try out beta version of macOS Sierra but you don't want to mess up your current working machine, it's a good idea to install it on a virtual machine using Parallels Desktop. To do so, the first step is to download El Capitol. Yes, you need to download Mac OS X El Capitan first. So go to Mac App Store and find El Capitan and download it. Basically what we do, we use this uh, installer of uh, El Capitan to create our virtual machine and then we upgrade that virtual machine to Mac OS Zero. Once you finish downloading, the El Capitan installer will be downloaded to your application folder. It might open automatically, you don't need it. You can close it you, and you can locate that installer in your applications. Now, you should ensure that you're using Parallels Desktop 11. If you don't have Parallels 11 and you're a uh, Parallels 10 user, you need to temporarily upgrade to version 11. And to do so, you can go to Safari and go to parallels.com and download the beta. Once you finish with the installing El Capitan and Mac OS Sierra, then you downgrade to Parallels 10. But make sure you keep all your keys and license information for Parallels 10 with you. Once you have Parallels 11, we are going to add a new virtual machine using the middle option, which is using DVD or image file. And once you go forward, it automatically locates the installer in your machine. So it found my install OS 10 L Capital in my applications folder. If it doesn't, you can manually locate that installer and continue installing your virtual machine. Now you need to assign where the image file will store. I'm gonna assign a custom path to my image file, but you can just leave it there wherever it's gonna store. It's gonna store. And next we're gonna name our virtual machine. I'm gonna name it Mac OS Sierra. And before we continue, make sure you check mark customize settings before installation because we want to have some pre-configuration on the virtual machine before even we start the installation all right here it is the settings uh, screen i want to assign four processors two is enough but four is better and make sure you assign at least two gigabytes of memory. I'm gonna assign four gigabytes. And for graphics memory, I'm gonna assign 128 and make sure you assign at least 128 megabytes. All other settings seems to be okay. And we're gonna continue installing El Capitan. You might see this uh, if I failed error, error and that's okay, it will restart and it goes and, and it will continue with the installation. Okay, installation is finished and I have El Capitan in my virtual machine. Now it's time to upgrade to Mac OS Sierra. So I go to Safari and go to my developer account. If you have uh, access to public beta, you can follow those links. I'm gonna download Mac OS Sierra here. Once I click download, it will go to Mac App Store, tries to redeem a code, and then you can download Mac OS Sierra. If you have already tried this method and tried to download Mac OS Sierra, then you might see an error that this uh, code has been redeemed before. Like me, I did it before, so I have this error right there. If that happens to you, you can go to the Purchases tab 
and you'll find macOS Sierra there and you can download it from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and download macOS Sierra. All right, it's finished and I run the uh, installer application now and it's pretty straightforward uh, like any other macOS installation. So we wait until macOS Zero installs, it will restart the virtual machine and once it's installed you can downgrade to uh, Parallels 10 if you were initially a Parallels 10 user you just need to download Parallels 10 uh, installer and install it on your machine okay the installation is finished uh, I also downgraded it to Parallels 10 now I have macOS Sierra on my virtual machine you can see in the information that is macOS Sierra actually running we have Siri up there let's try Siri how's the weather in New York City tomorrow it's not looking good tomorrow down to 70 degrees with thunderstorms so Siri works you can you might see some flickers mm. or bugs in graphics but that's because this is, uh, this is a beta version. Let's try something else. Search the web for images of Steve Jobs. Here are some images of Steve Jobs I found on the web. One of the cool features in macOS Sierra is that you can directly use Siri search results into any documents that you have open. For example, here I can drag and drop these images into the open document that I have and it will go and download the full size image for me and put it in my documents. All right, you can see the macOS Sierra is running in my virtual machine in Parallels 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Thank you.